it's your boy T Bird and reaction to Dance Music Monday. About to get to a DJ Frio video with a sample video and a production a highlight video. This is the one considered one of the most slept on producers of all time. I just got finished doing a video about um 96 being arguably considered one of the best year in hip hop as well too. And this producer contributed some of the hit singles of 90 of 96 as well too, such as uh such well some songs of 96 as well too, such as Silent Style by by Shaheen, one of my favorites. Sweet Life of Mob D, um, Black Girl Lost, and Suspect from Nas, clearly claimed hip hop hit album. It was written as well too, and many others. As I always say, he was the the sixth man, the uh, sixth man on the uh, well, I say the the fifth wheel of the infamous hip hop infamous uh, hip hop album of Nas debut in Man as the fifth wheel to the the Fab Four of um, Pete Rock, DJ Premier. Q-Tip and Lars Professor. He was the uh, fifth man who, who did a beat for the his single "Life's a Bitch" as well too. I mean, and many other um great hits as well too through the years. So anyway, we want to check us check out the video about one of the all time underrated hip hop slept on producer of all time, Les. That's who is I think he's from Queens. Let me see. Yeah, from Queensbridge. Uh, from Queensbridge. So anyway, without further ado, let's check it out. L.E.S., a real slept-on hip-hop producer, but he's produced some big tracks during his career for people such as Nas, AZ, Will Smith, Big Pun, and Fat Joe. Yeah. In today's video... So, are you, are you, and, um, let me see, yeah, you, you will find out in a minute, minute what when when song he did, so yes. I'm going to be looking at some of the big tracks he's produced, as well hey, as a sample. He produced a good amount on the Big Willie style, so yeah. That's that's awesome. That's probably why that uh, that album so that album was so awesome. It's used to create them. If you want to download any of the background beats that no, are playing throughout, the just click the you first link in the description. Yeah, my, the what's the here? No, you can't do that. Start things off with a great track that came out in 1996. Oh, oh, you okay? Somebody did this before that. You just a boy. You not. Word of flesh. Because uh, I told you this sample to um. Uh, Coat boy. A real nice trap there from Royal Flush, who is the cousin of Capone from Capone and Noriega. Mm -hmm. He grew up in Flushing, New York, which is where he takes his name from. That track was one of his first singles before dropping his debut album the following year in mm. 1997. Let's see what's next up. Oh yeah, life's a bitch. Mm. Sorry, life's a bee. Sorry about the little man. From Nas's amazing debut mm -hmm. album, that was the only track produced by L.E.S. It was also the only track with any featured rappers on it. The mm -hmm. trumpet at the end of the track was actually mm -hmm. Nas's father, Uncle Dara, playing it. So any sample diggers searching for that sample, don't bother, because mm -hmm. it's not actually a sample. Let's see who's next up. Oh, yeah, Sugar Hill. Great combination there of a direct sample of the music mm -hmm. and then singing similar lyrics and melody on the chorus. It was from his debut album Do or Die and is his best commercial hit of his career. The single was backed up with Rather Unique, another really great track that was produced by Pete Rock. AZ's a really great MC that I don't feel gets enough recognition. He don't, Let's man. see who's next up on the list. Shaheen Shalit Style, yes! This is my joint. That's the Hennessy that make me act like this. I'm where I hit him up. Projects now never played the film. Shaheen started out at the age of 14 when he appeared on the Garden Freestyle along with Big Daddy Kane, Big Scoob, Biggie and Tupac. Mm. He grew up in Staten Island around the Wu-Tang okay. Clan who worked with him on his debut album in 1994. He's released several albums but never really had any huge commercial success. Jay-Z said he looked up to him in admiration mm. when he released his autobiography in 2010. Let's okay. see what the next track is. They got me this one. Oh, crack attack. Yeah. Uh, I bet you know that left you 
Really nice track that one. The scratches are done by DJ Clark Kent, mm -hmm. who was the DJ for Dana Dane yep. in the 80s, and he's also the cousin of Foxy Brown. Ooh. He also hosted the NMS DJ battle, including my favorite DJ battle of all time, when DJ Noise absolutely destroyed 8-Ball. Let's mm. have a quick check of that. These are always this way. If this is influenced me to be a DJ as well too, then never got that great as a DJ. But I always love watching the DJ battles, man, for real. Growing up. Maybe this one might might do it. Maybe it was No, I want you to break it in the key. Gently place the balls into the mud. That was the dope thing about DJ Bells, though, with the little scratching in the disc words and all that. But man, it was talking samples. It was so awesome about that, yo. <sighs> Absolutely hilarious that, uh, even after all these years. Let's see what's up next. Man, when I come up in here, uh, treat me like a fam. I can go up town and get this 16 cent a gram. Bottom line is, man, I got a cop and go. Got a spot and I can't afford to stop the flow. The sample there from Leon Haywood, the beginning part of that track is better known for being sampled by Dr. Yeah, I thought so, yeah, I thought so, yeah. That 50 Cent album was a promo that was first released mm -hmm. in 1999, but the album has never had an official release. It was intended to be his debut album on Columbia Records. Oh, where you got they shots. dropped him before releasing it yep. after he was shot yep. many times. Let's see what the next track is. Sounds familiar. Okay. Three life, yo. Let's get lifty. Quizzes you with me, nigga shifty. I turn around and kid tried to hit me. I'm back down with the 50 50. That track was from the compilation album, America is Dying Slowly, which was about AIDS and HIV away. By the way, the beats you hear in the background is bought, done by the man himself, DJ Furia, though. Check out his uh, beats tapes on his band caps for sure, man. Dude's dope, yo. That's all I gotta say. And it's, it's definitely worth a listen if you've not done already. There's some great tracks from people including Wu Tang, Coolio, Biz Marquee, Pete Rock, and Common. The Source magazine called it a masterpiece when it was first released. Let's see what the next track is. Oh, Nostradamus. Encore, y'all. You should welcome me back. You want to Another reason why this game my favorite as well, too. At the first favorite thing I heard this first before listening to the EP and the old album for this song, Let It Flow. Let It Let It Flow. Um, Let the Fall Flow. I love that joint just because of this. <laughs> just because this is. And just because this. Till you fall, I can help you with that. That's one of the many, many times L.E.S. has worked with Nas. That was the first single from his fourth studio album from 1999. The album sold well, but it's considered by many to be some of his weakest work, especially when compared to Atlantic. Yeah, and, that's, and there was also fuel, fuel in his uh, Jay-Z edition. It was certified platinum in the U.S. by selling over one million copies. Let's see what's up next. A great posse cut from Big Pun's debut album. The track mm -hmm. featured Armageddon, Cuban Links, Fat Joe, and Triple Cells. The sample was taken from George Benson, who's very popular for sampling yes, in hip hop. Yes. Probably his best known sample is on I Get Physical yep. by Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Both great 90s hip hop tracks. Let's hear the next one. Ooh. Yeah! I thought so! I must say, ooh! I knew that was from, I knew you did last summer! Holy shit! That's the joint right there, phone time, okay! Ooh! That was from Capone and Noriega. That joint was dope, album. yo! That was a fire joint, yo. That was a fire joint on that album, not me. But they, they returned, the first one they had was cool, but this joint, whoo! That joint was fire. Also featured Invincible, produced by DJ Premier. 
They haven't really done anything since their last album came out in 2015. The sample was taken from John Frizzell, who worked a lot with Mike Judge and did the music to both Beavis and Butthead films, as well as the music for King of the Hill. The soundtracks are so good for sampling from, as there's often lots of instrumental tracks with no vocals on them, meaning any part of the music can be sampled yep. and used nice. to create something new. Nice. Let's see what's up next. They were usable, what was one of them? Oh, that Joe's in town. Slept on album, yo. I think that's my favourite Fat Joe album. He's done a lot of other good stuff too, but this was before we went more commercial and it's definitely yo hip hop. Definitely. Envy is the only Facts. exception on that album. LES has done many more productions, but they are mainly all with Naz, which I don't want to show too many of. Them. Okay, so he did, like I said. Um, LES did a lot of Will Smith albums. He did majority of his Big League style album. One of the more popular he did was Get Jiggy With It in Miami. So yeah, you would be surprised. You'd be surprised that he did that. So yeah, this was a good video. The, the, uh, the highly one of the most underrated hip hop producer of all time, and he is definitely show. And that's LES. But other than that, if you like my let mm, blah blah blah, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel. If you like my little man. Um, activity in the video, like, share, <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's your boy T-Bird signing off, one love.